work in Marysville in late September included the continued installation of a bubbler system. A large amount of tubing has been laid with the assistance of a diver. Perhaps beneath the diver here, you can see one of the ballast blocks on the bottom. Here's an opportunity to have a closer look at the vacuum mooring head that will hold the side of the ferry closely to the dock. Things are looking pretty good in the main ramp area and on the gangway that will serve pedestrian traffic. Everything looks good in the southeast corner too, and the wall is definitely getting closer to completion. The last week of September also saw some touch-up work taking place on the asphalt finish of the dock. It's important to all concerned that everything should be just right. Preparations to cope with a Canadian winter mean that anti-icing systems have to be large and extensive. But before long, installation will be complete. And speaking of installation, intensive work continues on preparing the systems that will charge and power the ferry. There are also still works to be completed in the southeast corner, but overall, everything is coming to a conclusion very clearly. And we look forward to the day when the ferry enters service. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing.